Hey YouTube, Halo Guy here. Two weeks ago, yes I know I'm very late, but only recently has this had a light shone on it, so that's why I'm just covering it now. But anyway, there was a job posted to the Free for Free Industries website for the live design lead, which sounds pretty innocent enough. But when having a closer look at the actual job description, there are a few worries that come to light, so I'll just read over some of the key points that stood out to me, but I'll link the entire job description in my description down below if you want to check it out in full. But it says, you will oversee see and provide vision for multiple facets of design and its implementation. This includes progression in and out of game, player investment systems and integration of our business plan throughout the game and finally social and engagement features that encourage players to return again and again with their friends. Ok, so, so far nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing wrong with wanting players to return again and again to your game, as long as it's not in an artificial way like Black Ops 4 was, but a little further down it says Design and deliver a triple A player investment experience that focuses on our fans and their desire to express their passion for our franchise, including but not limited to microtransactions. Design and deliver triple A progression and engagement experiences that tie into game features be able to adapt to the changing business and community needs that come along with being a live service. Ok, so right here, on the first point, desire to express the passion for our franchise. This is what worries me the most, it seems like they are putting the armours into packs again, or at the very least having them as direct purchases for real world money, which I do not like at all. If you've watched some of my earlier videos on the channel, you'll know I really badly want achievement based unlocks where you have to complete some sort of feat to actually unlock armours and helmets and then be able to add patterns to the armours that you get out of loot boxes. That would be the way to satisfy everyone in my opinion. Now they could be doing something like that, it doesn't explicitly state that they are putting armours into loot boxes or even just up for sale as a direct purchase, separate from random drops. It just states that we can express our passion for the game with microtransactions, so who really knows? At this point everything is up in the air, I suspect 343 don't really know how they are going to do things yet, since microtransactions really come last in the development process so to not have any temptations to build the entire game around them, or at least that's what I'm hoping they'd be doing anyway. The next bullet point says the progression is tied into game features and now that we know the progression is going to be in some way shape or form held within microtransactions, this is a very worrying statement. Now it could be that Rex would return and be exclusive to some sort of Warzone 2.0 game mode, which I'd personally be fine with, as long as these game features don't harm the arena experience. I do not mind, but some people may be more concerned who actually play Warzone as their primary game mode, so you could have a different opinion on the matter depending on what kind of Halo you actually play, but for me I can't really speak on the topic, but maybe one of you could down below. Now this point could also have nothing to do with microtransactions at all and is actually talking about an actual progression system to engage with where you unlock as you play and get better at the game and complete more achievements, which would obviously be my preferred system since that's the clearly superior system for us the consumer. But this point is with all of the microtransaction stuff within the job description so I'm not really too sure, we are just speculating and trying to decipher what all this means at this point. Now for the last point here where it says adapt to the changing business and community needs that come along with being a live service. Now live service suggests free content given to us over a long period of time, which would be good as long as it isn't held back stuff like Halo 5 had. It has to be genuine additions to the franchise for it to classify as actual free content in my eyes and not just held back stuff that they give us through a drip feed. But for the first part, adaptive business and community needs, so what, if Microsoft the business in this situation isn't making enough money from the microtransactions, are they going to make them more intrusive and keep ramping it up and up and up and up and up until we, the community, provide widespread hatred for the system before they tone it down? That's what I'm hearing when I read that, and that is not a good business model. That's what Call of Duty does, the game launches and there are no microtransactions at all. They then introduce them as just cosmetic stuff, then the weapons get slowly drip fed and then they come faster and faster 
and they add more and more padding of useless junk to the loot boxes to make your odds of getting the actual good content and Call of Duty's situation as the weapons and that goes on and on and on and it happens so slowly in the hopes that they get away with more before they see any sort of widespread panic and backlash from the Call of Duty community. That's what this sounds like. Like, adapt to the needs of the business and the community. I don't know what else that could mean. The needs of the business. The business wants to make more money so they make more intrusive microtransactions. But then the needs of the community, which is a good experience. And business comes first in this as well. So, I don't know. I don't know what else this could actually mean. Let me know if I'm interpreting that entirely wrong and my nervousness for this game's monetization is just covering up what is actually here because this sounds horrible and absolutely horrendous. But then after all of that, just to top it all off, I saw a tweet from Chris Lee, the studio head at 343 Industries and he stated that we're still working through the final plans and we'll share more when we are ready but I can definitely say Halo Infinite will not include real money loot boxes and I hate this tweet with a burning passion. Why Chris Lee? Why did you have to say it will not include real money loot boxes? As if there will be loot boxes that you can pay for with in-game currency that you will probably be able to buy with real money. So that you're not actually buying the loot boxes with your cash, you're buying an in-game currency with your cash, which is then spent on the loot boxes. Technically Call of Duty doesn't have real money loot boxes or FIFA, but they are still super invasive and nobody likes them. I don't like how roundabout this tweet is. I wish he just said there will be loot boxes in the game and you can buy them with in-game currency that you earn by either playing or just buying outright. That would develop some trust between the Halo community and the people making the game. Yes, you would get on the spot backlash, but nowhere near the backlash is what happens when the game launches and no one expects to be able to buy loot boxes and all of a sudden, bam, you can buy credits, rep points or hbox, whatever the hell they want to call them. Declaring it now would have been the healthiest thing for the game and your studio. Most people are going to take a quick glance at this tweet, see the words, no loot boxes, and continue their life up until the launch of the game, expecting there to be no loot boxes that are able to be bought with real money. I am worried, simply put, I am very, very worried. I don't even mind loot boxes, that is the thing. But the way Chris says there will be no real money loot boxes, makes it all seem so slimy and sneaky and it just worries me how the game will turn out. I don't want to have to be melt dry to be able to play this game effectively or get the armour and weapon skins I want. But hey, I could be wrong, I could be looking too hard into this, but this isn't the first time they've said there will be no real money loot boxes, so it's not a slip of the keyboard so to speak. It's obviously something specific they've been told to say as damage control when the topic of microtransactions comes up in a large scale like this. Now, I do plan to wait for actual confirmation of the microtransaction system they'll be using and I don't plan on letting this drown out my hype for the game overall, but if I do get this game on launch and there are invasive microtransactions, I really don't know what my future for this series looks like, or even gaming as a whole, since Halo is really the only game I actually really enjoy playing for years and years on end without getting bored. I've been playing Halo 5 for almost 4 years years now and I still deeply enjoy it, microtransactions included. But that's everything really, we knew they'd be in the game, I just wish we got actual information or radio silence, not this tweet or job description which leaves the topic open for speculation and discussion and ultimately negative thoughts. I hate to be negative about this game, I love this franchise so much and the last thing I want to do is make videos like this one. I want to celebrate the game's achievements, not condemn its business practices, but that's all guys. Like the video if you enjoyed, it helps the channel a ton. Subscribe with notifications if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest videos as soon as I go live. I'll be covering all Halo news, big or small, so you'll want to keep up with the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching till the end, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good one.